We're having a baby today. I got my epidural. Did I Started having like more painful contractions. I think it is go time. I've had contractions since like three o'clock this morning and it's eight o'clock. They just started like getting really intense the past like, couple hours. Um, so yeah, I'm having them about every five minutes right now. Around three, I had them every like 10 to 15 minutes. So they're definitely picking up. Okay, I'm currently having contractions. It's ending though. We're a little bit stressed out because Indy is actually with us. Our babysitter's on her way. Since it happened so early this morning, she wasn't awake yet, but Indy's with us. Brandon is staying out there with her until I can get inside. It is 8.57 now um, and she checked me this morning and I am at a five to six, which means I'm in active labor. So I was right about my contractions. I'm really happy that I went in at the right time. I was having contractions like every five minutes. Um, so I knew it was time to go in. I called Brandon, he was at work. Like I said, Indy was at home with us, but our babysitter called back and picked Indy up. So she's now with the babysitter, um, but we're just in here and they think the baby's gonna come pretty quickly just because of my last pregnancy and what else, I mean. Yeah, it's the second only pregnancy as well, so that just makes more sense. Um, but we're doing little stretches right now that will get me active, and I'm about to have another contraction, so. Okay, here it comes. Oh. Okay. Ow, don't squeeze my hip, that hurts there. IV is put in guys the last time I was here the IV was the most painful part but it went so smooth this time I got so lightheaded the last time this is our room by the way it's nice and sunny in here I'm gonna okay. yeah let's roll up the blinds but I love how sunny it is and it's so spacious so I'm very excited we're having a baby today okay, I was checked like maybe an hour ago and I was like five to six so I'm assuming that I'm maybe progressing the um, contractions are getting worse, but I'm still breathing through them. I'm still gonna get an epidural. I got it last time and it was very helpful, but yeah, once she checks me again, I'll update you guys, but it's now nine o'clock and I think we're gonna get things moving. She's gonna bring the ball in. I got my epidural. She's hanging out now. She's getting a little bit of relief. So whenever she came in, she was at a five to six. Five to six. So the first five is called like inactive labor, first five centimeters. And then whenever you hit five to 10, it's active and uh, you'll start to feel more cramping and everything. So this morning she, like around two in the morning, she started to feel more cramping. They started to get more intense and everything. So that was whenever she texted me after I'd already gotten to work this morning and said, hey, I think, you know, these are getting more intense. They're lasting longer than a minute. They're increasing in frequency. So that's like what brought her into the hospital. So we got here, she got checked and she was already in the active stage of labor. I just got the epidural. Um, I'm already feeling it working, which is great. It's, what time is it? It is 9.35. It's 9.35, so we have it in. Um, I feel good. The last couple of contractions were pretty intense and hard, but um, I got through them and now the epidural's in, so I feel good. And yeah, I'm just relaxing now. The scariest part for me really are needles. So like my IV was scary to me, but it was fine. And then like the thought of putting a needle in my back was like, Ugh. but it pinches you for like maybe 10 seconds and then it's over. So I'm glad that's all good. I'm just now laying on my side. I'm laying on my side because um, they were saying that the epidural just works better with the gravity. So they're trying to elevate me. The sunshine makes me feel happy. Brandon's here. We have someone Indy, so I don't feel as stressed out. She's doing a really good job. Yeah, I was she's just been taking it. She's taking it very good. Yeah. 
they just think that I'm going to have her pretty quickly. Um, they're gonna put the catheter in very soon. Usually second babies go fast and because there was only a um, like 14 month interval in between Indy. My and, body's like used to it kind of. Yeah, so it, uh, it means that like everything could happen quicker because like her, her body's like has that, you know, muscle memory and everything because it was so recent. They said once they put the catheter in, I think they're gonna break my water, right? Are they just doing that to like speed things yeah. up? Break, like there's different things they can do in order to like speed up the process of labor and one of the things is breaking so, water like assisting with breaking water is what they call it or um, a rom assisted rupture of membranes and that means whenever they just put a little um, poke in and help the water and then labor really starts to it, it can quicken very fast after that happens I remember hearing about this but everyone says like for the second pregnancy you're cramping like the after part is worse like your uterus shrinking is like really really painful and it was painful last time but it's supposed to be even more painful now people say that they don't tear the second time i think it's like 9 50 or almost 10. i got the catheter put in and i got really lightheaded like all of a sudden and i guess my blood pressure dropped a little bit um but after a minute i was fine so now i'm back i'm feeling good again they're gonna come break my water and i think that's whenever Things will really start to pick up. I'll start to feel some pressure. And yeah, they're gonna see how things go. But I'm getting like getting a little anxious. Like I'm getting like anxious, excited. Yeah, Brandon just stepped out. He's talking to our babysitter, making sure Indy's squared away. And I can't believe we're gonna have two babies really soon. Like I said, guys, I'm 38 weeks, six days. Tomorrow I would have been 39 weeks, and then on Wednesday I would have had my induction. I brought my comfy blanket that I had last time from Sam's Club. It's like the, the Barefoot Dreams dupe, but I don't have it out right now. I'll probably use it more postpartum, but currently I just have this crop top on that I got from Target. I wore just this last time as well, like a crop top. I hate the gown, it's like so uncomfortable and it gets tangled up, I think, so. And then I just have the normal sheets and then I have on, I don't think I can really show you. I have on my really comfy socks that I got from Amazon. So where are we at, Brandon? How much we're dilated? She is at an eight or nine, sorry now. We're at a nine. Yeah. Baby could be coming soon. Or is coming soon. Yeah, <laughs> she'll be here. <laughs> what time is it now? It is 10.08. Okay, guess is. What do you think? I'd say it's like 10.30. 10.30? Okay. Mm. Well, I don't know. I Ten... she has a lot of hair too. Okay. I'm gonna guess 10.29. Hold that breath and curl into your bottom. All down in your bottom. Down low, low, yep. low, low. Good. That's Back. it. Keep it up. You're good. Go, go, Hold yep. it for right five, there. Right four. There. Three, good, two, one, take a breath, and do it again. Big breath. Good, 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 good. Five, four, three, two, one, take a breath, and do it again. Big breath. Maybe it's the long nights and the short, cold days. All the <laughs> There's daddy. Mama. I'm gonna go to the bathroom now because they said my bladder is full. Hey, hi, Papa. Hi, Ali. Oh, that's the first time we mentioned her name, I think. Welcome to the world, Miss Ali. <laughs> the nurses just came in and they helped me go to the bathroom because she was just pushing on my bladder and um, it was a little bit full. We did good. I did some soldier marches i think that's what they called it just like walking really straight legged since i had the epidural but yeah i went to the bathroom it did not burn i did not tear and i was telling you guys earlier that second time moms always say they don't tear so i didn't tear and how long did i push brandon 20 minutes 
another 20 minutes so i guess it was very similar to the first one but yeah i'll have brandon update you guys a little later it's been like two to three hours now since we've had ollie but i'm very hungry now i just ordered lunch they have this ipad and everything they've been the nurses here have been so so helpful they get my pad ready they get my underwear on and everything for me which has been super nice i think we're just waiting now to get to the postpartum room i have my postpartum underwear on now and like the pad and everything and we tried breastfeeding everything's going well she's being a little bit fussy because she was so stuffed up um so she's having a hard time latching After you eat, obviously. Mac and cheese, French fry. Oh, do they did give you two steaks? Or are those? Uh, <laughs> I think these are two quantities. Oh. Just like juniper in summer. Oh, we were never meant to last. on the eyes but no way that we'd survive we were wilt we were weathered i just got done um breastfeeding her on both sides and she had a pretty good latch over on the right side and then i switched her over and she was having more of a hard time so i think she's just not as hungry anymore i'm finishing up my lunch to be honest um not the best the fries are very um cardboard like but i am not picky at all like i will eat all of it if i need to but the mac and cheese is really good i already finished that up i got mac and cheese steak french fries and mashed potatoes apparently you're supposed to order like everything with your meal like i didn't order gravy or anything um just because it was like very overwhelming and i was just really hungry but brandon is downstairs in the cafeteria getting some food for himself i tried ordering for him um but it just never came so anyways i'm just finishing up lunch cuddling my little boo boo and all is good in the world hello first before <laughs> we get started there's mommy <laughs> she's doing very well yeah okay. i'm having coffee yes she got coffee because she wasn't able to because she was painfully contracting this morning <laughs> and then here's oh. ollie she's sleeping so well <laughs> she just got done feeding and now she's just hanging out. I'll just give like a quick update sort of as to what happened. Kathy was having like painful contractions that were increasing and they started at three and then I would say they started to increase in intensity and time wise like around seven ish is when I noticed but I knew like these were real around three ish. Yeah. To the hospital this morning um, around what was it seven i don't know what time it was it was like seven close to eight yeah because we were um wait we like we had to bring indy this morning because of the way everything happened i had actually already gone to work but kathy texted me at seven and was like these are increasing in intensity um they're happening every five minutes now and they're lasting for longer than a minute and this is worse than it was an hour ago so that's why she came in uh, to get checked so we get here and they checked her in the labor and deli delivery triage area yeah and she was six centimeters dilated yeah, i was by myself at this point when i vlogged because brandon was outside with indy still <laughs> yeah because you can't you can't bring other kids in mm -hmm. um so like i was just handing off basically to uh, our babysitter mm -hmm. for indy um and it uh, ended up working out really well it brought like extra the extra car seat and everything so i handed off and i came in um, and Kathy was just she had just gotten checked and she was at six centimeters dilated which uh, means that she's in the active portion of labor and then that goes a lot faster so when, whenever you're more than five centimeters dilated that's usually whenever they're gonna have you stay in the hospital for labor um, and then whenever you're at 10 that's when you start pushing they call it complete you're complete at 10. Mm -hmm. uh, she labored for a little bit really not doing a ton just kind of stretching her um, like hips out and oh, stuff yeah. like that. that clip. Yeah, that did that for maybe 30, 45 minutes. She started having like more painful contractions, yeah. even like on top of what she was having. So she asked to get the epidural. Epidurals can slow down 
how quickly labor happens. Um, you know, it, it, that's a possibility that happens with it. So you, like in her case, she just wanted to tolerate as much as she could before she got the epidural. That way it didn't slow anything down. Although she zoomed through everything again this time, which was kind of <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah, it was so fast. So she got the epidural, came in and broke her water. And then when they checked her uh, shortly after, she was eight centimeters dilated uh, and then she moved to nine very quickly after like, she had well right when she broke my water she goes oh you're at an eight. Oh, actually a nine now yeah right as she was in there and that's something that they can do in order to speed the process of labor a little bit is to break water the water is going to break on its own eventually so it, and it's a not it's a non-painful thing there's no nerve endings or anything there but after that point then labor can move like very fast uh, following that um not even 10 minutes or so went by and she went from eight to nine to complete. And then, so probably 10, it's like 10.05, 10.10, something like that this morning. Um, that's when she started pushing and then she had probably just another four um, contraction cycles where she was pushing, which took around you know 20 minutes-ish or so. Uh, Ollie was born at 10.39. 10 according Says to our wristband. Honest, yes, 10.39, they're not gonna see that. <laughs> okay. I wanted to mention that Brandon is a... Brandon, you tell your position. Sure. I'm an intern physician, um, not not labor and delivery related mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. I've, I had experience as a medical student on my labor and de delivery rotation, but I'm going to be an anesthesiologist eventually. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm tra in training for in the Navy. So yeah, we are located in San Diego, California. If you watch my very first birth vlog, we had Indy, our first baby. She's like yeah, 15. She's, no, she's almost 15 she's, months. She is 14 months. Yeah. yeah, she's almost 15 months, March 7th. Um, and today is February 20th. So um, basically last year, year whenever we had indy december 7th we found out we were going to san diego california um yeah. because brandon is like i said a resident now um here at the navy hospital <laughs> whatever i don't know um and so that is why we are here and yeah. yeah i just wanted to say that's why he is so knowledgeable in what he's saying and i thought it would just be like a fresh set of um yeah just i I, I also <laughs> just like enjoy explaining things too like yeah. this. this is what i do all the and time like, I, i'm not i'm not an OBGYN, but I just yeah. have a superficial knowledge of what's going on around us. Yeah. So. If you watched my previous vlogs, then you would know that we were scheduled for an induction on Wednesday, February 22nd, but baby decided to come on February 20th, so we're yeah. a-okay with that. She's healthy, yeah. so. Our last baby, Indy, had jaundice, um, so I don't know. It could obviously happen with Ollie, but we're just kind of waiting here. We're relaxing now. We're calling family and stuff, um, but yeah, she's just sleeping. I'm gonna try to feed her every two and a half hours is what they recommend i've already peed twice which is great and yeah let me know if you guys have questions about the epidural or postpartum wise um all that stuff just let me know in the comments i'd love to talk to you guys about it and yeah if you're a mama too if you've done this before you're amazing and it's such a hard thing but it's so amazing what our bodies can do um so yeah, we'll update you guys later and we're just gonna hang out. If you guys are interested, this is what my postpartum bag looks like. So they have the perennial cold pack um, ice pads. These are the best. And then I just got my pad. And then these, actually these are the pads that I'm using currently, the really big ones. And I just have my postpartum underwear on. I don't think this bag actually comes with the witch hazel pads, which I really liked the last time I was recovering postpartum, but they do give me the peri bottle, so this helps me pee and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go to the bathroom right now. The only thing I would ask for is the witch hazel pads, which it does say that it comes with, so maybe I'll look for that now. I know a lot of people don't talk about or even like show their postpartum bellies, but this is hours after. Um, still squishy. I'm feeling the cramps a little bit like whenever I'm breastfeeding, but it's not bad at all. So yeah, this is what my belly looks like currently. Yep, all the girls eating. And. Mom, he's about to eat. Yep. 
he delivered some Vietnamese food and I got bông bò huế if you guys know what that is, probably not. And Brandon got the classic pho. So this um, is our dinner since our lunch wasn't super amazing. <laughs> Excuse my hair. <laughs> also, they are giving me Motrin. I didn't have a lot of pain, but if you guys know, like when you're breastfeeding, you start kind of feeling some cramping happening because your uterus is shrinking. So I feel a little bit of that. I haven't taken a nap or anything. Um, I'm just gonna try and sleep like normal tonight. We'll see how that goes. We're just watching The Office. Just having us a chill night. <laughs> mom and dad life we facetime indy and she had no idea what was going on so <laughs> we're excited to see her tomorrow All right, it is the next morning. I'm just finishing up my lunch. I had like a hamburger patty, having mashed potatoes. Yeah, just very basic stuff. But um, it has been a full 24 hours now. I can't believe it's been a full day. It felt so fast. Like when they were doing the 24 hour screening and stuff, I was like, wait, it's been 24 hours. I didn't even, everything just happened so fast. But everything is looking good. Um, when we had Indy, she was jaundiced and she was, she had pretty high numbers so we had to stay an extra day or two so usually the next day a lot of people come in the room because they're checking me out they're checking the baby out doing like hearing tests um newborn screening tests making sure you're um latching on well if you're breastfeeding there's just so many different things that happen the next day so just be aware of that if you're a new mom but yeah everything checked out today she's not jaundiced so that's very exciting which means we are probably going home today like i said it's like 12 it's lunchtime let me double check it's 12 30 so hopefully we get to go home today um it looks like they're gonna let us go home so i'm very excited indy is at daycare right now which means we get to pick her up and they get to meet so i'm excited for you guys to see that I've just been trying to get her a better latch and stuff like that. It's been a little bit of a struggle because she's so tired right now, but she's doing a lot better. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to update you on. I'm feeling really good um, mentally and physically, which last time I was in so much pain. Like I didn't even realize the postpartum pain that you can go through. Um, but this go around with the second, it's... 10 times 100 times better like i'm up and going i'm just moving slowly but i feel so much better up here i'm not as stressed out i'm not trying to like have any expectations i'm just going with the flow which has been very good on my mental health but also my physical body feels a lot better so i just feel so much better this time around it's so crazy because um it's stressful but it also feels I have this like relief that I've done this before and everything is going to be okay. It is many hours later, but Indy is about to meet Ollie for the first time. Oops. Okay, let's see how it goes. <gasps> Look! Hi. The sissy. You want to go say hi to Sissy? Go say hi. Go say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Did Nini get a new toy? Wow. Aw, is that your baby? Wow, can you press the button? Couldn't make it. 
to September.